Hey, welcome back. My name is Sushant Sutish and I'm your trainer for this Power Platform Fundamentals PL900 certification course. In this episode, we're going to go through module 1, Knowledge Check. Without wasting any more time, let's get into it. Let's look at the first question. Your social media engagement officer has requested your help in boosting followers and retweets on Twitter. How could you help her get more information to better understand and subsequently increase engagement? Is it using Power Apps Portal which can create a new customer site for our followers? No. Is it by using Power Automate which can handle our content approval for us and reducing the time it takes to produce new content and ensure our quality procedure is followed? Absolutely not. So the correct answer is configure a Power BI report to capture and analyze data from Twitter, allowing you to better understand why certain posts elicit more responses. So Power BI allows you to create visuals and better understand your data. Once you understand trends in what followers like, you can post more of that content and increase engagement. Let's look at question number two. Your team has become frustrated with number of times they have they have to perform basic data entry on project startup. There are many divisions who need the information and sometimes human error results in mistakes and making it more difficult to make sense of your information. Which program would be the most help in this situation? Is it Power Apps? No. Is it going to be Power BI? Definitely not. So the correct answer is Power Automate. Power Automate can create automated information workflows so that data entry only has to occur once. All right, so let's look at question number three. Someone has added an item in SharePoint which prompts a workflow to run in Power Automate. What type of operation have you used to start your workflow? Is it function-based? No. Is it an action? Definitely not. So the correct answer is trigger. A trigger is an operation that tells a workflow to begin or prompt some type of an action. Let's look at the last question for this module. A client likes the idea of implementing a Power Platform solution, but is concerned about the ability to interact with the custom API. How should you respond? Is it the Power Platform uses connectors that holds a series of functions available for developers? No. Is it the Power Platform has over 270 connectors to use in this situation? Definitely not. So the correct answer is the Power Platform offers the ability to create custom connectors for this purpose, which allow you to connect to Power Apps and Power Automate. So you can build out custom connectors to bridge your apps or workflow to the API. All right, so that concludes episode three. We just finished module one and we completed the module one review questions. In the next video, we're going to explore common data service. So I will see you in the next one. Till then, take care.